how to fix your Acer computer. My name is Liz and I'm a certified repair technician. So we're going to go over how to do what's called draining the flea power from your system, which oftentimes is known for reviving a dead laptop. So with my screwdriver and pry tool, I get inside the laptop. As a certified repair technician, this is the first step I would try. So step one, once in the laptop, we are going to unplug your battery with your power cord also unplugged. And if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Okay, so with the battery unplugged and the power cord also unplugged, now I'm going to drain all the power out of the system, which oftentimes resets the base systems in the computer, which can revive a computer. So I hold down the power button, like so, for 30 seconds to a minute. And once I've done that, I've drained it for 30 seconds to a minute, preferably a minute. I go back inside and I'm going to plug the battery back in. And this is the first step in the troubleshooting process is we are going to now, with the battery plugged back in and the power cord pl plugged back in, I'm going to try turning the computer on. Sometimes just draining the power and the fleet, po the fleet power from the system will reset the whole thing. So if that works for you the first step, excellent. Good for you. You've done the easiest possible solution. Um, if that doesn't work, we're going to move on to step two. This is what I would do. Work my way through the troubleshooting process. You guys are doing advanced IT work. Good job. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back inside the laptop once again with the power cord unplugged. This is going to seem repetitive, but it's actually very important. I'm going to go back in and once again, unplug my battery. And with the battery unplugged, I'm going to once again drain all the power from the system for 30 seconds to a minute. And then after doing that, I'm once again going to try turn the computer on, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug just the battery back in and I'm going to leave the power cord unplugged. Why? Why would I do this, you say? Well, the reason why is, is sometimes if the power cord is giving you trouble, this will help diagnose that. You drain all the power, hit the power button, and if it suddenly turns on, wow, you figured out the problem. Your power cord is bad and it is giving you issues. If that doesn't work, well, that's what step three is for. Let's try step three in the troubleshooting process. If, once again, I'm going to do something that by now, I'm pretty sure you have a good idea what, I'm gonna unplug my battery. I'm gonna hold down the power button for 30 seconds to one minute. And this time, once again, I'm going to vary the last step slightly. I'm not going to plug my battery back in. I'm going to plug only my power cord back in and see if that revives my computer. If it miraculously turns on, then I know the battery needs to be replaced. So with the troubleshooting process, we figured out which thing is the issue step by step. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, if this didn't work for you, then the next step in the troubleshooting process would be a BIOS reset. There's a video in the description down below on how to do that. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.